Look at this. Look at this. You see this? That is why I do this. Because that will change your mentality from, from four up until now. You know how much time you've studied? You know how much time you could have saved and enjoyed with this 10 minutes of information? Now again, remember the goal of this seminar is, what is the objective? To chain up yourself for yourself. Lovely. So, I would like you all to know how to read a graph. So this is just a basic graph. If I have this graph, and let's just say this is one, you come at a, a marker one and you go up until you meet the curve and you go left and with whatever, whatever value this is, that's the value at one. You have a next value here two, you go up, you meet the curve, and then you go left, whatever value that is, that's seven, yes? Basic graph. For learning and studying, this is the curve that I find works the best. Right, so let's just say, for analysis purposes, you want to learn to play table tennis. And uh, you've never formally trained for table tennis before. So at time t equals to zero, you would have, say, five units of understanding about table tennis. Can anybody tell me something about table tennis? It has a racket, it has a ball, and a net. You need two people. The ball goes from one side to the next side, yes? So you already know things about table tennis. Now you formally enroll in training. So on day one, you are exposed to something called the, the forehand push, a basic stroke. Allow me to show off a little bit. Yes, yes. So basically, this is the racket, and you hit the ball with the racket, and it bounces on your side and goes across to the next side on the surface, right? So you are able to continuously do this in a rally. So you, the, the ball bounces on your side, you hit, it bounces over the net, and bounces on your opponent's side. You are able to rally for five consecutive times. Before you start day zero, you are at five levels of understanding. So you've started training, and on day one, you're able to get it six times across the net. So you're feeling like a boss, because it's impressive, right? So day two now, you are able to hit it across the net eight times. Not even seven, eight. So right now, you have natural talent. Everybody looking at you. You see that man there? He promising. All the girls too, eh? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Feeling good? Day three. Nine times. Now, you go home. You set aside a half an hour. And you're looking up table tennis scholarships. <laughs> table tennis book bag. Table tennis shoes. Everything you can think about. You're walking, you know. You have it. Natural talent, you know, this is what you was put here on earth to do. <laughs> Day four. Ten. So right now, you went on Amazon the night before and you pay for speedy delivery. And you go in to training. <laughs> A small racket. And you humiliating people. They, they, they're not ready for you. You just say, yeah, let's play now. I better be clear with this. <laughs> nah. And then, the, and then to make it worse, you get the the embarrassment tool complimentary. <laughs> <laughs> I have beaten people with this, huh? <laughs> literally. <laughs> In table tennis. In table tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, it's good. So now you're making all these bets with people. You're ready for them, you know? Okay, well, I bet I'll beat you. You're buying lunch for me tomorrow. Well, all right. Day five. You dropped to nine. Well, went on there, why? Yeah, you know, a little off day. You know, you're human, you're allowed to have off days. So you say, well, all right, so all those people who you both saw when you was at 10 now, 
come back to Mr. Laka, let me go now. Let me go, Abayan, let me go. No, no, no. Day six. We drop down again, eat. Now it's a problem. Because you don't know what are the table tennis shoes. <laughs> I can vex now. What's going on? Everybody on a case now. Come, come, let me play, let me play. So now you're dodging, eh? You're dodging. So day seven, eight, till eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are you ready to quit, eh? But guess what? You pay for the month. <laughs> we had to go twelve. And uh huh, it reaches nine. Then he say, ah boy, that was a blight. He blight gone. Say, so come back in the game now. Day 13. You go back up to 10. Assume that's the curve there. Then you, you continue. The next day, you peak. You peak at, let's just say, you peak at 20. And you level off at 18. And it, it, it continues. Could I see all those who have experienced something like this in studying? Look at that, everybody. You know what this is called? Normal! <laughs> it's normal! It happens! What you need to understand though is a few things. One, this is a straight path which is called a plateau. So we put P for plateau and this plateau is at 8. So P1 equals to 8. And this plateau is at 18. And the important point is P2 is, is, what, is what something P1? Greater than. So it makes sense, which means that you are higher than your first plateau. So let's put this into perspective. Now you can't, when you, when you are here, you can't stop. Eh? You can't just stop and say, well, you know, this thing is not making sense. I'm just going to stop and magically reappear here. No, it doesn't work like that. Why? Because it's not time. It's time and effort. So you have to have the effort. So let's just say Mr. Lacan comes to class and he's a student and Bob teaches him something, teaches the entire class. And I don't understand something. I don't understand. But then Jason and John and Michael and Sachin understand. And I still don't understand. So then the third day comes and then most of the class understand, but I still don't understand. So now I'm thinking, boy, this math's probably not my thing. I don't know what's going on. This, I, I'm not feeling too smart. Three days after, everybody in the class understands it except who? Me. i confused right now. I am so frustrated. I don't know what to do. You need to hold on. Remember that this is an individualistic thing. So everybody is going through their own part of the learning curve. So it could be that everybody else on the positive path, the upward slope of their learning curve. And I may have just been saturated and I'm on this path and whatever I do, it just doesn't happen. So all I need to do is say, okay, that's fine. I know I'm not understanding it. But if I keep on, I will understand it. And that's why you get the extra five minutes and the extra 10 minutes. So you don't get frustrated because you don't understand it because you know you will not understand it. That's normal. If learning were linear, meaning once you learn something, it, it, you never, it never loses, then everybody, there'll be no need. You just pick up a book and read. You learn everything, you'll understand everything. So the thing is, once you understand this, this gives you the mental strength to say, no, I know I will not understand it, but that's no problem. That doesn't mean I cannot understand it. I just need to put in some extra time. You all follow what's going on? Could I see all those who believe that this analogy should have been shared in form 4 with them? Look at this. Look at this. You see this? That is why I do this. Because that will change your mentality from form 4 up until now. You know how much time you've studied? You know how much time you could have saved and enjoyed with this 10 minutes of information?